previously in the other video. From my childhood, I remember there was this one DVD. It was unlike any other DVD, and it wasn't even like a movie DVD. Maybe I could possibly find it. What am I supposed to be doing? Dancing and using the remote at the exact same time? <laughs> if only I could just... J what? Agent Cool Blue. This was probably one of the very first DVDs that I had as a kid. Of course, as little kids do, they tend to lose very small objects. So, since my copy is lost in time, I had the fortune of trying to find this on eBay. Ah! No, 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 don't worry. I didn't buy that one. I bought this one for $7. So, one obvious thing about this DVD is that it's a mini DVD. No, I'm not referring to those portable mini DVDs from the early 2000s where you could take them with you, like, in the car. And I'm not talking about the PSP's versions of those either. This disc can actually fit in a tray size DVD player. Yet you ever notice that on the tray how there's a smaller circular tray in the middle of where you normally put a DVD? Well, I guess that's what it's meant for. I believe they were also meant for camcorders that supported these types of discs. That way you could record video and then you could watch what was recorded on your mini DVD in your DVD player. Pretty nifty for back then, right? But of course, this disc can even fit in a GameCube. I'm pretty sure these mini DVDs aren't really a thing anymore, but it's very interesting to see how they were used. But anyway, let's move on. What's the deal with this particular DVD? What is it and what's its purpose? Well, this was made by Listerine, you know, the mouthwash company. It was made in 2006 and was intended to be a kid's product to have them clean and brush their teeth in a fun way. I mean, got my interest. I mean, blue is my favorite color after all, and the guy on the cover looked cool. I mean, cool is in his name, he could easily be with the Blue Man group. I guess this was back in a strange period of time in the 2000s where the detectives and special gadgets and spies were something kids found interesting, almost like a more kid-friendly version of James Bond, Mission Impossible, or Sherlock Holmes. Mainly the whole gimmick was that Listerine came in two different flavors, Bubble Blast and Glacier Mint, and it would turn your teeth blue to reveal what you needed to brush away, basically to help you brush away any plaque from your teeth. They even made a Spanish commercial that tied into the Cartoon Network show Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Aha! Con Listerine Agente Cool Blue, cepillarse los dientes nunca había sido tan divertido. Este caso está resuelto. So with that, they sold the mouthwash along with the free DVD, which is this thing right here, and the main attraction was a mini movie that's also interactive. It opens with what looks like a spaceship in the shape of a tooth, and we see our hero, Agent Cool Blue, and... <gasps> Celebrity Star! Wait, is that who I think it is? Sounds like the work of the plaque pack! Wow, that's a pretty snazzy performance there! Time to track some plaque! Okay, with your help, this should be a piece of cake! If I'm not mistaken, that has to be Jason Griffith, who's voiced Sonic the Hedgehog a handful of times in various cartoons and a few Sonic video games such as the dreaded Sonic 06 and Sonic and the Secret Rings. Of course, I tried to confirm this source, but I had no luck. It wasn't even on his IMDb page, but I'm at least 98% sure that it's him. The voice is very uncanny. I guess he has a thing for voicing blue people. Uh, does that sound racist? Nah. So anyway, it starts off in Blue's laboratory, which kind of reminds me of Dexter's lab. Is there a connection? When all of a sudden a celebrity star, yes, he actually calls her that, calls to warn him about the plague. I mean plaque. So you have to bring Agent Cool Blue to Hollywood by selecting four different methods of how to get there. Okay, let's try by mail. Ooh. Wait, that's it? <laughs> it didn't work? So you mean to tell me that all those viral videos of YouTubers mailing themselves in large boxes that were from forever ago were a complete lie? The internet lied to me? I mean, let's be honest, I think that would have worked for him if he shipped himself like that with no help. Uh, who knows, maybe the post office just shipped him to Lichtenstein by mistake. Alright, since that didn't work, let's try something else. Ah, how about the pogo stick? Huh? 
I guess that didn't work either. Eh, it makes sense. Probably would take him forever to go from wherever to Hollywood on a pogo stick. It'd probably take even longer than normal walking. Actually, how long would that take? Let's see. So I decided to look it up on Google Maps. The sign says Hollywood is 3,000 miles to where he started pogoing. So let's say he started using the pogo stick with the walking method, and since it says Hollywood is 3,000 miles from where he started, that means he would probably start his journey in Maine. Or who knows, maybe he's Canadian or something. But basically, it would take Asian Cool Blue 47 days if he used a pogo stick to get to Hollywood. Well, that's interesting, I guess. Why did I waste my time explaining that? I need to move on to the next choice. A donkey. <laughs> hmm. Should have expected that. Anyway, so the right choice to make would be in Blue's jet. So he flies to Hollywood and sees that the plaque is infecting everyone's teeth. But then he winds up in a movie set where they're, I guess, filming the next Romeo and Juliet movie? Oh, Romeo! Cut. Really? Using the old Romeo and Juliet cliche? Wouldn't that be more fitting with like a school play or something like that as opposed to a Hollywood film? Huh. Actually, that might be more accurate because Hollywood keeps running out of new ideas, so they just end up making remakes. Also, what's with these people and all their plaque in their teeth? Is it really inconvenient for the people to brush their teeth? I mean, I brush my teeth every day because I don't want to have to worry about losing my teeth or any sort of gum disease. Plus, dentures are probably very expensive and inconvenient as well. And not to mention, it's also a good reason not to do drugs or smoke. Because have you ever seen any of those scary ads on TV that show you not to do it? That's how important it is. But... Wait, is this a PSA for lungs, smoking, or teeth? Let's move on. So, Blue stumbles upon a large room filled with costumes, but something looks a bit out of place. Now you get to make another choice, but this is where it becomes more interactive than you think. So, as you can see, when the magnifying glass icon hovers over this jumbled circle of text, it's something that you can actually interact with without using the DVD remote. So the Listerine product not only came with the mini DVD, it also came with what the DVD calls a secret red decoder, which is basically red cellophane that you could see through. I, of course, don't have it, and I have no idea what it looks like. I'm assuming that it's probably like in the shape of magnifying glass, but you can use almost anything. So you could probably just use the classic 3D glasses and just use the red piece that you can see through. But then again, his name is Agent Cool Blue, so wouldn't it make more sense to use this blue sheet? What a missed opportunity. So, as you can see, when you hover over the jumbled text, it reveals the secret words scrambled in there. That's actually quite interesting and a really fun way to interact with the DVD game, rather than just plainly choosing. But again, it can be quite obvious which one to choose, since the magnifying glass icon can look larger, which indicates the right choice. So, you choose this ugly guy right here, which sort of reminds me of the Mucinex Mucus guy, but he's part of this plaque pack of what Agent Cool Blue referred to, and according to this advertisement, he's called Ruthless Toothless. Sounds more like a cowboy's outlaw name. I should also mention there is some concept art for other members of this plaque pack made by artist Mark Newgarden. He's known for his illustration and animation work, such as one of Cartoon Network's first online web series, Be Happy, and he's mostly known for his concept art on Garbage Pail Kids, which Newgarden helped develop. So I'd assume he's involved with all the animation in this. Anyway, Blue chases after him in a Scooby-Doo-like scenario, which ends up inside a really large limousine. Your days are numbered, Black Pack! Be reasonable, Agent Cool Blue. If you join forces with us, we can blackify the planet together! Join me, and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! But the Black Man escapes, and Agent Cool Blue winds up in front of a red carpet and paparazzi. Then you get to make your third and final decision. This is where, again, you get to use the secret red decoder to find which right path to take. The text on the sides of the coded circles give indications what you could possibly do, like back to the limo or under the red carpet and all that. But what's the point? When you select the wrong answers, nothing happens. This is where I should point out that the very first screen where you make a decision is the only time you see different outcomes if you choose a wrong answer. But with the last two interactive choices, there are no animation sequences showing you what happened if you select the wrong one. But I am curious, like, what happened if Agent Cool Blue did get back into the limo? What if he went on the roof or underneath the red carpet? Why didn't they show it? 
who knows, maybe they didn't have enough time for more animation or they ran out of money in their budget or possibly the DVD just didn't have enough storage considering that it is a mini DVD after all. Anywho, it doesn't matter if you use the decoder or not, you just highlight the giant magnifying glass icon over the left side of the crowd and you watch Blue put his blue magnifying glass into a spotlight which melts the plaque man. You haven't seen the last of us, Agent Think again! We'll be back! And Agent Cool Blue saves the day. Or does he? Well, what's this? Huh. This looks like the company that must be responsible for animating it. Uh, let me see. Oh. Looks like the website doesn't exist anymore. How unfortunate. Well, the only other thing left to show really is the DVD's product demo. Now you can stay cool at home. Just rinse, reveal, and remove. Listerine Agent Cool Blue Rinse will help you brush better, but one good brushing isn't enough. Make sure to brush properly twice a day, every day, even when you aren't using Listerine Agent Cool Blue. Now, that's all there is for Agent Cool Blue's DVD, but how did the product sell? Was it successful? I mean, it did have a website at one point, so it could have been great, right? Uh, let's see. Oh. It was recalled in 2007. Why? Well, apparently the company who distributed Agent Cool Blue, Johnson & Johnson, recalled 4 million bottles of the mouthwash because they had determined that the product's preservatives didn't fully control certain microorganisms in the Listerine. But I've read other sources say that, as of now, there have been no reports of any kinds of health-related events from the consumers. Plus, the people who have tested the product say that it didn't reveal any plaque at all. Well, that's a bit unfortunate because the product seems well done enough. I mean, it seems quite kid-friendly. But that's okay. Europe has us covered with plaque agent. But on the other note, supposedly, this DVD is also considered lost media. Well, partially. According to this Reddit post I found, which was made about a year ago, the user says that they couldn't find any image of the disc or even what the video looked like. They gave a YouTube link to someone who uploaded it and posted where they showed almost the entire cartoon but didn't even show any of the bad choice results or even the product demo. So I think it's fair enough that I'll be showing Agent Cool Blue in its entirety by uploading a separate video on my channel. Well, that's my look at all these different interactive DVDs. There's probably more out there we can look at sometime in the future if you really want it, and hopefully you'll join me on this ride again. In the meantime, I'm off to listen to some of the Blue Man Group. <laughs>